Hi guys, it's John again from Ned English School in Dublin, Ireland. I'm continuing my series on some common mistakes and how to avoid them. Today we're going to talk about formal writing. Now this is an area that gives a lot of people problems because we don't use it very often. However, it is very important because at one stage or another, we all have to write formally, especially when we're applying for a job. Something very important when you come to Ireland. First of all, I'd like to talk about two general points. When we write formally in English, um, there are two major differences between formal and informal written English. The first is no contractions. When we speak English, I say, I don't know. We might even say, I don't know. But when we write this down in a formal letter, we must not contract and spell out each individual word. So it's, I do not know, instead of, I don't know. The second uh, key point is we use fewer phrasal verbs when we write formally in English. So we might say to examine a problem instead of to look at a problem. Of course, you can use phrasal verbs in formal writing. It's just that normally we prefer um, the more formal words. This is good news for you speakers of Latin languages like Spanish or Portuguese because it means you can use a lot of the Latin cognates which are similar to words in your own language. And now to the bits that trip people up. Um, the conventions. 90% of a formal letter is simply the conventions of how we lay out the page. Um, when you do an exam, if you're asked to write a formal letter, they give a big portion of the marks for simply getting these things right. So, what features does a formal uh, letter in English have? Well, at the top left you have the address E address. That's the address of the person you are writing to. So, you can put in their name, their job title, and the company address, perhaps. On the right-hand side, you put the date, and then you start addressing them. It's a formal letter, and you do not know this person personally, so we always address them by their appropriate title. If it's a, a, a man, dear Mr. Jones. If it's a woman, dear Ms. Jones. We always use Ms. because this is the formal, polite form of address for any woman, whether she is married or unmarried. If you were to write Mrs. Uh, Jones, the person on the other end of the letter might be very insulted. So, if you say Ms, you cannot go wrong. So, dear Mr. Jones or Ms. Jones, not dear John or dear Mary, this is too informal. So, this is if we know the person's name. I'd just like to highlight something. The start and the end of the letter go together. If you know the person's name, then you must always finish your letter by saying yours sincerely and your name. Contrast with uh, a different type of letter where you don't know the person's name. Um, if you're applying for a job ad and no name is given, for example, you might write, want to write in general. You don't know if the person is a man or a woman, so you write dear sir or madam. And this is perfectly acceptable and perfectly formal. Okay, but there's a difference, an important difference. If you don't know the person's name, you say yours faithfully at the end of the letter. Okay, if you have trouble remembering this, maybe think of it this way. It's easier to be faithful to someone you don't know than it is to be faithful to someone you know over a long time, like your wife or your husband. I'm sure anyone who's married can relate to this. Um, just, I'm, I'm not focusing on the text, the content of the letter today, but just um, to uh, highlight, usually when we write a formal letter, the first sentence explains why we are writing. This is only polite. So, dear Mr. Jones, I am writing to apply for the accountant job you advertised on irishjobs.ie. Is a perfectly good opening sentence for your job application letter. In a later episode, we will look at different uh, ways you can approach the content of the letter. But for today, these are the conventions of formal writing for formal letters. No contractions, fewer phrasal verbs, position of the address, the date, opening and closing, and make sure you match sir and madam to yours faithfully, 
and Mr. Jones or Ms. Jones to yours sincerely. And that's it. Thank you very much and I hope to see you all at Ned School to learn English in Dublin.